Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna do here is check out uh, our RFAs for next year. So we have many, many RFAs, many guys are supposed to come R to become RFAs next season. Uh, and, and also we have Callum Ritchie who we have to sign to a contract. Uh, I think he's gonna come and play in the AHL this year. So I'm just going to sign him that real quick. Uh, he he accepted it actually. So it's it's been a while. It's been a while since we last had an episode. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna get more of these out, you know, for now. And then when I'm done the franchise, we're gonna see what else we do with the, you know, um. A more deep roster for the next team well in this roster we already had like the entire 2023 class next roster is gonna have uh updated 2025 2024 way way different so you know stay tuned for this uh so about Bokefist, he wants seven mil for four years. I don't know if I want to give him that just now. I'm going to see if his price goes down. Tessia, his price hasn't gone down, so I have it taken care of. Student Niche, he's he's a pretty tricky one. Foodie, is he? No, he's not. He he doesn't want to talk now, so. Uh, let's just go and be content with that. By the way, Tyner Howe, he's going to be a higher, a higher, uh, he's going to be a higher potential in the next, uh, you know, in the, in the next franchise. But yeah, it's full updated 2024. He's going to be a higher potential than that. Uh, he's going to stay. He's definitely going to stay. Same for Femis. He's, he's going to stay, uh, in the juniors probably gonna be brought up next year to the AHL uh, but yeah first off free agents let's see what we have to deal with Austin Matthews a free agent uh, Max Pacioretty who's not gonna be in the next roster he's a free agent uh, but yeah uh, it's just he's just telling you guys that he's not gonna be there Zach Roslovich, who we traded, he's a free agent. Uh, nothing, I guess, here. N nothing that intriguing. I mean, of course, Patrick Kane, he's a free agent again. Uh, Duclair, for some speed, he could be added. Uh, why not? Why not? Why not, actually? How much cash do we have? We have 7 mil. We could use that cap says on Duclair. He's 28. He's going to be 32 by the end of it. Oh, there's other teams. Other teams. All right. So I'm just going to up the price here. Six times four. Uh, and we're just going to roll that way. Why not? So Duclair accepts immediately. All right, so what we do, we add a little bit more veteran presence and we add more speed too. Oh, and by the way, what we are gonna do, wait a sec, yeah. What I'm gonna do as well, I'm going to fire the head coach. I'm firing everybody, everybody is gonna be out. All right, I'm cleaning the coaching staff real, real quick and we're gonna go and get coaches that fit. All right, so hire staff. Let's see how good this guy is. 61%, no thanks. Not the type of, okay, that's intriguing. That's good. Uh, that's intriguing. So let's just go ahead and uh, wait a sec. I'm gonna go do more due diligence here. I'm gonna do more of that. See if there's anything better. 62%. Uh, 
uh, hold up. Because again, at the same time, I want to have the, I want to have the right guys too. Because my core players should be the main guys. We're going to be benefiting from that. So keep that in, in keep that in mind. Uh, he'd be a good associate coach. So I'm going to give him that. No budget, but I just fired everybody. Cool. <laughs> this game. So three years. And let's see how this goes. Uh, he's, he's pretty much offered by nobody. I'm just curious with defensemen. It, it won't do as good anyways. Moises Foss. Yeah, no thanks. No. Absolutely not. Right, it's pretty much getting worse. The more I go. Yeah, all right. So let me just go back up. And let me see who were the guys. Mm, all right. Well, we aren't a team of veterans, so it's not really going to work. Sixty-two percent, and honestly, I don't mind having Jake Bean be not benefiting from it. If guys like Blokvis, Gaudreau, Wawenski, Line, Sillinger, Johnson are going to, are going to, so you can be head coach. You can be head coach. Come over. We have a young core of guys. Uh, we are going to be heading to the right direction soon. And plus, hey, you can be a part of something special if it happens. So let's just go and up that salary to be sure to get him because that's pretty much how you get, pretty much how you get these players, pretty much how you get these coaches. It's by just overpaying the heck out of them. And honestly, like I said before, uh, I'm just going to just bite the bullet with, with Jake Bean. It, it's really not like Jake Bean is going to be in, is going to 100% be in future plans. So, uh, we're just going to see with him. But honestly, I, I don't mind having him not benefit if it means our core guys will. So that, so what we need here, we're gonna need some AHL coaches. So let's go ahead and have an A plus teaching coach right here, Selma Janssen. So let's go ahead and do that. Hold up. Yeah, uh, I do not want to risk being just rejected so hl head coach she's gonna have b minus teaching that's gonna be fine skylar matthews let's go ahead and sign you associates uh all right you now let's say pun pun car oh Okay, I, I, I'm just not going to say it. Any other assistants other than goalies? Alright, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just going to take it. Oscar Bergforce. Here we go. Oh, 
oh and what i would have as well what i am gonna have too is another a plus teaching guy for the nhl goalie coach so what we're gonna do we're gonna have a we're probably gonna have a young guy waiting so we have it all taken care of what, what i want to see i'm gonna go back here and see the amount of guys one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that's our 12 here uh I, i'd be totally fine with that defenseman one two three four five six and uh christensen being the depth defenseman zozo is gonna get some some time before pretty much over peak so and honestly hold up because if i'm just going to get into a new system and jake bean isn't benefiting from it how about i just do this real quick i see what's available for him second and third victor olivson mike hoffman second and third paul stashney second and a third second and a third so we see a trend here andres jansen signed for five years good god ross colton He's an interesting one because he, he actually helped more, if anything. Sony Milano. Uh, hold up. How's Ross Colton looking? 27 goals? All right. And Tampa probably doesn't even need him anymore. So... I'm totally fine. We only gained like 1.2 mil of cap space because we just traded away 3 mil for 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 4.2. So All right. So let's just see how it goes right here. All right. All right, let's go. Good. You'll love to see it. So the money works. The money works. The money works. And Tessa accepts his contract extension right here. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I offered him off camera. And this is what he was. Hold up. Tessier. Yeah, 2.9 for, for two years. Two more years and let's see if Bo both this price has went down it has oh no it hasn't it, it actually went up good god yeah <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and sim to the next season here all right so here are the lines here uh, so Elvis, he's going to be the starter at 81 overall. And uh, Gaudreau, Johnson, Duclair, that gives us a plus 5. Marchenko, Sillinger, and Line 8, that gives, gives us a plus 5. And the evens are pretty fine to me. Uh, our, our center core is very, very good with uh, Ross Colton being the fourth line center at an 84 overall. So I'm totally fine with that. Uh, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So defensively, defensively, runs game Yurichek, Bokfist and Fozil, Matejchuk and Andrew Peak. Oh, I'm just going to see the scratches. Tyler Angle and John. John or what? Wait a sec. I, uh, I need his, uh, his his first name here. I totally forgot Jake yeah Jake so here we go and the AHL squad is gonna have Yurov, Malatesta and Fix Wolenski on the, as the top line Jordan Dumais he's gonna be 
75 overall right here. Michael Petia. So, uh, these guys are expected to pretty much be sent up to the, to the NHL. I think, uh, I, I think I'm going to trade one of the guys to make space for Petia. Especially if he's doing very, very good in the AHL at some point. But, yeah. And Jordan Dumay. He's, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Hold up. All right, and uh, Rasavi, drafted Biaska as well. He's gonna be, he's a high bottom six. He was right in the fourth round. I think I'm going to upgrade his potential in the next update. I, I think I'm going to do that because fourth round in a very, very in a pretty good draft. Uh, that might be medium. It's, it still might be medium nine. Tim Bernie and Magnus, Magnus Bjork are just gonna be here, hold the fort. Corson Kulemans is another guy who I'm gonna try and make space for. Ergut Branson, uh, he's on that pretty bad contract, 4.1 for two more years. Uh, that contract is impossible to move, so don't even count on it. It's impossible to move. Goaltending. Tarasov, he's pretty much a lost cause. He's 76 at 25. I could have maybe given him a chance, honestly. But he's not, he wouldn't be a lost cause, but in this game, the development is pretty, it's pretty bad. So that's why. So, all right. So let's see how we do in the regular season. And at some point, I am going to try and clear some space for some new guys. All right, here we go. So Boston, what we're gonna do is real time sim that game. Because why not? Here we go. Here we go. So first game for a lot of guys here. Matejchuk, Zvozil. Let's see how they do in their first game. Mm, Reinhardt. Line A response. Oh, so we're shooting, <laughs> bro. That's that's two goals and four shots. Good God. 3-1, Patrick Line. Alright. So, here's what we're doing. Three Up 3-1 three, after 1. While being severely outshot. So, you love to see it, I guess. Power play. Ah, Pasternak. On the power play. So it's it only up by one here. Three, two, up three, two after two. Uh, hopefully we can just dominate this period. It, it should be the period we dominate because we've been dominating every period so far. Uh, so here we go. Two. Oh, we have a power play late. Can we ice? Okay. So we do. So here we go. First game of the season. And we get the dub. Oh, uh, we, we got severely outshot, but we still won, right? So it, it should do anything, I guess. But... All right, so let's just sim a month and see how it goes. So sim till November 1st. Every episode is gonna be a year, by the way. So, uh, oh boy. So it's, uh, we're gonna have to 
call up Tarasov and see how he does. And honestly, I wouldn't mind keeping another goalie up if that means we're gonna just keep having these injuries. So I, I guess it's fine. Hold up. Wait a sec. Okay, good. Okay, now here we go. Invalid HL lines. Just get your ass in. Mirza Lincoln is back. Now let's bring him back up. All right. Oh, we win 10 to 1 against Montreal. Good God. 10 to 1 win. So back in like 2017. The, the Jackets beat the Habs 10 to nothing. This time around, it's 10 to 1. 5 2 and 1 in, 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 in October. All right. So, not bad. Not bad. Uh, for rebuilding team, I can't be mad. Uh, we're getting some very impressive wins. OT loss. Replace player here. So, that's a good. Mm, all right. We're just gonna replace player with with Tyler Angle here. So we're just going to see you at the trade deadline as Andrew Peake gets injured. So we're in this trade deadline, 37, 24, and two. We're gonna be conservative buyer for this year's deadline. Uh, we are in a very, very good position to make the playoffs. So, I'm, I'm not going to go and sabotage it. No. What we're going to do, we're going to see what we can do in this deadline. Dylan Larkin is out there for trade. All right. Uh, what's up with you? We could use a power forward, but all right. Marcus Foligno. Hold up. I'm not sure if he's on Arizona. Uh, what I'm going to do, we are going to have to retain salary. And maybe we could re-sign him for, for, for less. And he, he's really not here to just score goals. He's just here to throw the body. So it could just be, honestly, two-thirds. And I wouldn't mind trading away Bemstrom for him. I, I really wouldn't mind. Bemstrom's 25, the other guy's 32, but they do pretty much... Well, not, well, not the same thing, but... Honestly... Yeah. I'll definitely be fine just trading away Bemstrom for him. Let's see how this goes through. Mm, Alright. You're trying to play hardball here, huh? aren't you? So, Andrew Peak is injured, but we can still trade him. And he's real, his place is really in jeopardy with the other guys coming in. So, I wouldn't even mind giving him away. Let's see how this goes. Here we go. So, we get a power forward, a third liner. Uh, for we trade two, two thirds plus. One guy who's a, pretty much the same guy, so uh, a bottom sixer and a bottom pair guy too. So I'm totally fine with it. Goaltending. Uh, oh, holy shit! <laughs> Howard McMuffin. Yeah, I forgot there was a uh, that guy drafted. I have two medium elite goalies. Oh god. I could use one of them to acquire a... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna trade Dwauer because uh, I... 
like McMuffin name way more. And we're gonna shop for a goalie. This is what we're gonna do. See what's up with the goalie market. All right. So Connor Hellebuck, how good are the Jets? Yeah, they, they would not want to trade him away. Definitely not. Kemper, no thanks. Obi's back with the Capitals, by the way. Robin Leonard would not be in the next roster. Uh, Demko, how good are the Nucks? Yeah, never mind. Uh, they would not want to trade him. It wouldn't be realistic, at least. Uh, the Blues, Binnington, no thanks. Chris Drieger, no thanks. Still Lars Riddick. Good God. These teams are cooked in goaltending. I mean, Dostal is just being mean in starter. It's just a bit weird since I, I think I gave him a high starter or medium elite, I think. Chesterkin. Yeah, the Rangers are very, very good. How good are the Islanders? Yeah, they're pretty much in, in in the race. They're pretty much in the race. So no, so no. Uh, they would not want it. Ooh, you see, yeah. Uh, that makes UC Saros very expendable. UC Saros is extremely expendable. 27, 27, and seven. Uh, I wouldn't mind if maybe they would they want to retain salary. And they're getting salary back, like 5.5 and yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't mind trading a first. I really wouldn't mind trading a, f a future first for Soros. That meant anything. So let's just see if we can package in a, a first here. Let's see how it goes. They do not want to trade him and We can see what's up here with some guys. Honestly, Wolanski, you can go. It, it and also you have to remember we're trading for a 90 overall goalie, so we need to give up some assets at some point, right? Uh and I, I really wouldn't mind giving you away either. What you've requested from us, so unless you're giving us something spectacular, don't waste your time. Yeah, okay, so I think a first will have another first will have to be packaged in too. So let's just give up a, a 2028 first too. And there we go. So we try and contend. Uh. And honestly, this trade makes a lot of sense. This trade makes a lot of sense for both sides. Askarov, he's gonna be, he's gonna be pretty much there. He's pretty much there to be a starter, and and we get rid of Mirza Lincolns and we get a better goalie back. So I'm totally fine with it. I am totally fine with it. So we're just going for it. We are just going for it. And you love to see it. Uh, let's go whoever's available. Mm, Alright. Brock Besser. Okay, uh, It's so surprising how Proverov... It, it, it looks like he's older at times. Chris had an tour folk for. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, Anaheim. Alright. Uh. Daniel Sprong. Sniper. They want a top four defense in return. No thanks. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean. Some of these teams' asking prices are way too high. Uh, I already traded for a goalie, bud. No thanks, Arizona. 
I do not need I do not need flurry. I really don't. Like I'm telling you that right now. Jacob Brown is a guy who scores. We could see. I could see what's up with him. I mean, Detroit isn't... Holy shit. What is that? Yeah, we are going to need to just <laughs> make the salary... Cut that salary, huh? Because... I'm not taking a full 8 mil with the contracts I have here. And and honestly, if the, if this is going to be the case, we might as well just <laughs> tell him, hey, you take Good Branson's contract or there's no deal. And honestly, I wouldn't mind doing this real quick. Shinakov, you can go. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, you can go to Malatesta. You can go as well. Would have more than forty-five skaters. Good God! I mean, do we really need to take somebody back? Uh, all right, I guess. Here we go. Oh, no, I don't want JT Comfort. What the hell? All right, no thanks. Oh, well, not JT Comfort, but a nothing contract at least. Come on. Uh... Oh, they have a lot of guys. They have a lot of guys I wouldn't want. All right, fine. So Plandowski. Second this year, second next year. And a first. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. I think less retained money, I guess. Here we go. Good God. Bro, I, I, I already told Arizona to piss off. Good God. I, I already told Arizona to piss off. Like, dude. I already traded for a goalie. Like, what is so hard to understand? Like, dude. Are you checking the transactions? Like, alright. Do this. What the hell is going on? Yeah, it, it is not going to be easy, bro. It is not going to be easy to acquire. I guess add another player, I guess. Another asset. Yeah, they do not want to trade. Uh, they are just... They do not want the assets we're asking for. And that's a problem. That is a problem. And I was looking to get somebody who could score. Actually, let me see. What's McCabe's value? Retained salary, please. Retained salary. I am not interested in anything else, bro.
third and the fourth. Another third. Oh, I, I just hope I don't have to spend a lot of assets just, just to get a guy for two years, bro. I mean, I have no clue what's up with this guy. Why the hell do teams want him so badly? Uh, and I'm just like, okay, here he is. It's just done. All right, I guess. Uh, I'm I'm sorry if it's taking a lot. Uh, what am I getting rid of you? The salary's the problem. Here we go then. Still not interested. Okay, bro, there's no way. You know what, bro? I'm <laughs> I am not taking that salary at all. I'm uh, I'm not. You guys can deal with it yourselves. Because, dude, <laughs> I'm not taking that entire salary for two years. I have players to sign. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, injuries are killing us at, at this end of the season. And it is not pretty. Uh, you know what? You're all, you're going to be brought, brought up. Yeah, it, it's killing us. Hopefully, these guys, while I check, are... We are pretty much qualified for the playoffs, as I see here. It looks like we're like nine points ahead of our uh, of our next team. So the Blue Jackets are gonna make the playoffs here. It looks like. Yeah, we're in ninety five points. That's when we're in. So all of a sudden we have some guys coming back. So in year number three, we're able to make the playoffs. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it from this young team. And, uh, yeah. Let's just go. And off camera. Oh. We advanced to, to place number three. So, we finished 48, 29. And five. So Johnny Gaudreau with 104 points in 82 games. He's up to a 95 overall now. Love to see it. Uh, Wierenski with 88 points in 71 games. Patrick Laine with 87 in uh, in 82. Seven, oh, good God. Adam Vokvis. You tell me if I should have signed them before. Duclair in his first year with the Blue Jackets. 79 games, 72 points. Marchenko with 40 goals. So he's getting better every year. And he's on a... 9 points... Eh, you know, it, it... I could say he's pretty much backing it up at right now. So... Foligno with 45 points. And uh, he's... Also, I think he's fighting a... Sh a decent amount as well. Fights... Yeah, he has three fights. He, Honestly, you need to have more in the sim. We need more fights. Colton, 43. Tessier. Johnson. Ken Johnson with only 20, 29 points is pretty disappointing. This is pretty disappointing for him. Uh, I would... I mean, yeah, he has that... That offense isn't really there. His defense is. Uh, but the attributes you would expect. But yeah whatever he's, he's been dealing with injuries the entire year uh he's been uh, i mean not in the entire year. he still played 72 games let's see how good sorrows did 914 save percentage uh what did he do with columbus though with columbus he had a 914 so the improvement the big improvement is there on a better defense likely so let's just see who let's see how it's shaping up around the league here uh johnny Gaudreau would still be like good god austin matthews with minnesota 
all this just to come to me and bro yeah <laughs> and, and then now you're gonna have him and Kaprizov just eating just absolutely feasting on 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 teams Pasternak with 130 points Shifley with 111 Markov 109 Uh, and Gaudreau might, eh, yeah, he, he's gonna be fringe top 10 forward, so, all right, uh, Thomas Shabbat, 108 points, Quinn Hughes, John Carlson, all right, oh, and rookies, rookie skaters, see how rookies doing, so, Leo Carlson, He's gonna win the 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 Calder, Brad Lambert, Adam Beckman. I mean, Minnesota is a very very good team in the sim. You have Kaprizov going off all the time. Uh, okay, Brendan Brisson, Jacob Peltier. All right, Atu Radi. Alex Steve's doing something. It was on what line? Line three. Uh, somehow Borgo ended up to Washington. All right. Yeah, it, 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 it's going to be Chesterkins. Chesterkins, Vezina. Wait a sec, I just had a freeze here. Hold on. All right. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So. So let's just see. Who we play. Yeah, we're, we're going to need to bring down a few guys here. More roster moves. Yeah, you can go down. Oh, wait a second. Is that age? Is that system? No. Yeah, uh, wait a sec. Need to bring down some guys here. Hold up. York, you're out of here. Uh, waivers aren't the thing in the playoffs, anyways. So you're going to be fine. We're playing the Pittsburgh Penguins here. So. The second team in the Metro. Let's see how Pittsburgh is doing with their lineup. All right, here we go. So, Genzo, Malkin, Rust. And they have Nyquist. Bavillier is, is a Penguin. Crosby on the second line now. Killorn, Peeling, Kapanen. Oh, they brought back Phil Kessel. And Raquel. Oh, right. A, a, a solid team. Gossip Spare and Petrie. Chris Letang is gone. All right. Uh, let me see the injuries. Yeah, uh, he's not gone. He's actually... He's actually injured. So, they're going to be without Letang. Owen Pickering is going to be their death defenseman. Nikola Obekubel is going to be injured as well. So, he's... So yeah, both of these guys out for them. So it, it could it, it could be easier to score. It could be easier to score. And what I'm gonna do before I get out, uh, I get out, what I normally do for the playoffs. Uh, I for the real time sim, I put penalties down to two out of four. <coughs> but yeah, my bad. And uh, we're gonna need to we're gonna have some hard decisions in the off season. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Click the like button. Comment down below your thoughts. And uh, see you guys in the next one.